Hey, what up, y'all? I'm out here eating my seeds, protecting my peace. Nature heals, man. And um, I want to talk about what I believe the new success is. And I've been fortunate to have all levels of success, right? External, you know, uh, platform, position, all those things that the world said matter, right? The American dream. But I realized that without peace, you have nothing. And with peace, you have everything. That's why my shirt says peace over everything. It's been my mantra for a long time, but more so this past year when I was going through the hardest time of my life. Inner peace, y'all, is a new success. You think you want all these external things, but those external things mean nothing if you don't have inner peace. Money doesn't mean nothing if you don't have inner peace. Success, fame, doesn't mean nothing if you don't have inner peace. Your dream doesn't mean nothing if you don't have inner peace. You might say, Trent, how do you know that? Well, for one, I've experienced that. But for two, why do you think people are committing suicide that have it all? Because they don't have what truly matters, which is inner peace. So I wanna talk about five simple things today that can increase your inner peace. Number one, remove toxic things from your life. And whatever that means for you, maybe it's not people, maybe it is people. Maybe it's a mindset that you have. Maybe you blame and complain. Maybe you blame everybody else about your life and about your circumstances, about where you're at. That's toxic because that's gonna keep you in the same place. This is your life. Whether those people did you wrong, whether that job did you wrong, whether your past did you wrong, that might be true, but what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You have to take responsibility over your life, right? Maybe the toxic thing is your habits. Maybe the toxic thing is this, your cell phone, scrolling on social media, comparing your life. As long as you keep toxic things in your life, you will never be fulfilled. As long as you keep toxic things in your life, you will never have peace, okay? So that's number one, remove toxic things from your life. And I know that sounds like a duh thing, but a lot of people still keep toxic things in their life. I want you to future think for a moment. Future think a year from now. If you kept the things in your life that you're complaining about, the things in your life that are keeping pain, the things in your life that are stealing and robbing your peace, how is your life going to be a year from now? Right now, I picture your life by just removing those things. Maybe it's one thing. Maybe it's two things. Removing those things, how much freer, if that's even a word, free is your life going to be? Okay, number two, release what steals your peace. That kind of goes with number one. But if it's taken away from your peace, let it go. What you don't release, hear me clear, what you don't release will increase. The reason I come out here in nature, it's not just because I'm just nature shells all the time and I love just nature. I love nature. I don't always love the things in nature, but I, it's, it's my place, it's my sanctuary for me to release my negative thoughts for me to talk to God, for me to plead, for me to cry, right? For me to connect with my friends and have conversation without in, uh, any interruptions. It's a place that I come on the trails and said, there's something that I'm gonna let go of forever when I come back around here. And just a side note, even when I'm crossing bridges, this is some kind of weird, but every time I cross a bridge, I tell myself that once I cross this bridge, I can't bring something with me anymore in my life that steals my peace. And it's my, it's my my symbol, it's my my thing to let me know that I'm releasing things from my life. So what is in your life that you need to release that steals your peace? Because if you don't, you're gonna keep having pain, keep having chaos, keep having confusion in your life. Number three, all right, get lost in nature. It heals. I know that's a duh thing, but some of you don't like nature. Oh, it's bugs. Nature is beautiful. Don't take my word for it. Go just Google benefits of nature. Okay, just go Google it. You're around life, first and foremost. You're around places where a lot of times you don't have a cell phone reception. So it's hard for you to be reached so you can't be disturbed. One of my favorite things that I tell people, I bring them out in nature. Inside the trails, nothing else exists. Inside the trails, the outside world of my problems, my situations, my requests, my wants, people, it doesn't exist anymore. This is me time. It's okay to practice self-care. It's okay to be selfish if it's making you a better you. I promise you, your wife, your husband, your kids, your friends won't be mad when you come back home a more happy you. But maybe you're the you that's always frustrated because you don't have an outlet. You don't have a release and you're staying connected to the things that are causing you pain, to the things that are disrupting your life. And you wonder why you're so frustrated because you stay connected. Some of you have to unplug. What are you doing every single day? At least once a week. Damn, at least once a month. To truly unplug from everything so you can listen to your soul. The more you listen to your soul, the more you understand what your soul needs. 
I understand when my soul is screaming out for, for, for solitude. I understand when my soul is screaming out to have fun and be a kid, when my soul is screaming out to connect with friends, when it's screaming out to disconnect. When you understand what your soul needs, you will change your life because what you feed in your soul will grow in your life. Get out in nature. It heals. It's God's medicine for the soul. And your soul is everything. Number four, give your soul the attention that it needs. Okay? What does your soul need? What are you crying out for? What's in your head at night that's keeping you awake? The things that you don't even talk to people about. The things that you can't escape. Those silent battles that are worrying you over and over and over. The anxiety that's flooding your life. That you're walking around like this, I'm good. When you know you're far from it. You're walking around with a smile on your face. But you got suffering in your soul. What do you need? Is it therapy? Is it a deeper connection spiritually? Is it taking better care of your health? Is it going after the dreams in your heart that you've allowed opinions to keep you from? You got to know you better. We hear so many people say, oh, I know myself, know myself. And you don't know a damn thing about yourself. Know yourself better. Some of you know celebrities. Oh, I'm, about, I'm about to lose some people here. Some of you know my life better than you know yours. Some of you know somebody, people you follow online, or celebrities follow online better than you know your own life. You're paying so much attention to them, but you ain't giving it to yourself. Some of you are mothers and fathers that are doing everything for your kids. And I would never tell you to stop doing that because I'm one of those fathers. But I make sure I understand to give me what I need so I can be the best father that I can be, the best coach, the best leader, the best owner, the best human being that I can be for those that need me to be. So it's okay to disconnect from the world so you can reconnect to your soul. And last but not least, number five, if you wanna experience inner peace in your life, stop allowing the things that you can't control to control you. Peace is something you will never experience in your life if you keep allowing the things that you can't control to control you. So many of us, we have sicknesses in our life because we stressing about things that we can't control. You stressing about people talking about you. No matter how perfect you are, you can't stop nobody from talking about you. No matter how much perfection you give to the world, you can't stop the world from talking about you. Look at Will Smith. People love Will Smith a few weeks ago. Now they tearing that man down, whether that's right or wrong what he did. Now they tearing that man down. All the love that the world had for him is gone, just like that. But I would tell Will, you can't control. The only thing you can control is giving your life what it needs at this point. And so many of us, we focus on these external things that are out of our control, and we wonder why our life feels paralyzed. You wonder why you feel so stressed because you're trying to do things that you can't do and you ignore the things that are in your control. What's in your control right now that can make your life better? Maybe it's a walk for 30 minutes a day. Maybe it's more connection with your family. Maybe you put down yourself on to connect with your loved ones more because you realize that tomorrow isn't promised. Maybe it's you sitting down and journaling, journaling out the things that you're grateful for. Maybe it's take, you taking one step towards the greatest you. But yet a lot of us, we sit back and we become paralyzed and we literally we literally are too entertained with things that really don't concern us. And we allow those things to run us. And that's why we're exhausted. That's why we're tired. When I learned to focus on what I could control and let go of what I couldn't, my life changed. I can't control people liking me. I can't control people talking good about me. I can't control you know, giving my all and the world giving it back to me. But one thing I can control is how I show up, who I am, what I give, and what I accept. You're in control of those two things, what you give to the world and what you accept. You can give whatever it is you want, and you don't have to accept anything. You don't have to accept anything 
that isn't meant for your life. When you understand those two things, your life will change forever and you will experience our inner peace that doesn't cease. Like I say at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it. Share this if you feel this. Nature heals.